snips and snails and puppy dog tails little boys are made of. Men telling dirty jokes in the pubs, rude remarks, pinching girls' bottoms, shouting out crude comments on building sites. Men have thought for a long time women are there to give them babies. That was the church's line. We would have as many babies as possible. They became sort of um, baby farming uh, assistants. They knew women were pure lovely creatures. And if you could get hold of one and score, whoa, you scored! It may have cost you a few hundred dollars, but you scored. We're looking for a witch, perhaps, not a not a wizard. Well, that world is full of witches. They're everywhere. I mean, the universe has gotten stacked to the, to the, up to the scene. They all hate Christianity. They all hate the monarchy. They all hate men. So they make the world is full of them. We don't need witches anymore. We need wizards, and there are so few of us. But um, a woman could do a wizard's job if they have to, if there's no man will do it for them. And this is the usual story, you know, that the, a good woman will always help the man to do what he wants to do. But if, he, if there's no men around, they will definitely do it. They can too. Like a man can raise children if the wife leaves him or something. You can do these things, but it's not normally expected. Mm. Can you add any weight to the hypotheses that... that um, men are superior to women? Well, I think women think they are, because they always blame men. These go wrong. Now, if you blame people, you must think they're superior. I mean, have you ever heard a feminist doesn't blame men for the problems? Now, if you wouldn't blame a dog, would you or blame a child or blame an animal for the world's problems? You blame men, and you should. Men are superior. Look at the animals and most birds. Who's the pretty one? Who's got the colour? Who's bigger, noisier, more arrogant? Wonderful horns, extra whiskers, and they prance around to impress the female. And the females, with no exception, dull brown things.